Taylor Swift will be releasing her 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, and we can't help but wonder who her new music is inspired by. Taylor is the undisputed queen of writing breakup anthems, often with less than subtle lyrics aimed at her exes. I think it's safe to say we're all expecting certain songs will be about her breakup with Joe Alwyn, but apparently it's a different form of flame who should actually be worried. There's a lot to catch up on, so let's get into it. Maddie Healy is the lead singer of the British band The 1975. He was rumored to be romantically involved with Taylor in early 2023. The couple embarked on a whirlwind fling after Maddie showed up to all three of Taylor's Nashville performances at the height of her sold out eras tour. He was even spotted chatting up Taylor's dad in the VIP section of her Philadelphia concert. Taylor and Maddie were seemingly attached at the hip during their high profile fling and were spotted together in New York City on a number of occasions. Whether they were hitting up NYC hotspots, going on double dates, or popping into the recording studio to collab on new music, Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy were certainly at the center of attention. Swifties were hopeful that Taylor had found love again after her longtime relationship with Joe Alwyn came to an abrupt end. But we quickly found out that Taylor and Maddie's connection was fleeting. After a series of controversies involving racist and sexist remarks from Maddie Healy, the public's perception of him went totally sour. People were hardcore hating on him, and what kind of person says that? It honestly makes him look like a horrible person. So fans were convinced that he was not the right man for Taylor, and after his nasty comments, Taylor and Maddie had finally fizzled out for good. In June 2023, news broke that Taylor and Maddie had called it quits after only one month of dating. While both sides kept relatively quiet about the breakup, insiders have alluded that their romance was never meant to be. One source told Entertainment Tonight, they are both extremely busy and realized they're not really compatible with each other. Another insider told Page Six, everyone who really knows Taylor has been saying all along that this was just a fun, good time thing that would last as long as it lasted and would be no big deal once it was done. It's not a breakup. It's a natural evolution of a fun little thing whose moment is over. A separate source indicated to People Magazine that Taylor and Maddie didn't end things on good terms, saying they are absolutely not together and aren't even in contact anymore. In true Taylor Swift fashion, she has since moved on to bigger and better conquests in her personal and professional life. The Eras Tour became the highest grossing concert ever. Like, ever. That's truly insane. She literally outsold Beyonce and even like the Beatles and Elvis. I don't know, I just think that's mind blowing and good for her, we love to see it. So, as far as her personal life, Taylor has found a new muse in Travis Kelsey. See you later. Bye guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Travis is a football player on the Kansas City Chiefs. Him and Taylor have been in a relationship since September 2023, when she appeared at various NFL games to support Travis. They both have had an epic year so far with their careers. Travis won the 2024 Super Bowl, and Taylor was at the game cheering him on from the VIP section. In February, Taylor won four Grammys, including Album of the Year. During her acceptance speech, she made a surprising announcement. She said, I want to say thank you to the fans by telling you a secret that I've been keeping from you for the last two years, which is that my brand new album comes out April 19th. The crowd really went crazy and later on Instagram, she gave some more details about the upcoming release. She wrote, all's fair in love and poetry. New album, The Tortured Poets Department. When the tracklist for the album was released, fans were intrigued by the song titles as always, and some of the titles are Guilty as Sin, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, and The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived. I just love all of these song titles. I think they are so good and I can't wait to hear the album, but there is a lot of speculation about whether Maddie will be referenced on the album. Either way, Swifties are convinced that Taylor is not okay when it comes to Maddie Healy. In late 2023, a fan named Emma made a TikTok to share a discovery she made after being gifted a vinyl copy of 1989, Taylor's version. She noticed that one of the tracks featured an alternate second verse with Maddie Healy as one of the writing credits. 
the fan further explained that the vinyl was purchased at Target, and other fans started posting that they also owned copies of the album that featured the Lost Mati Healy collab. The video went viral, and interestingly, the album was immediately removed from Target's online store, which was super suspicious. Fans were going crazy online. One fan on X wrote, Maddie Healy is also credited on the song. This just adds fuel to the rumor that they pulled it out of the record last minute. Another commenter added, Honestly, it did feel like a 1975 song to me, so this makes total sense. Some fans expressed disappointment about not being able to hear a collab between Taylor and Maddie. A fan commented and said, I love the 1975 and I also love Taylor, so this is infuriating that we'll never get this now. I feel personally robbed. Target responded to the backlash of temporarily pulling Taylor's album by claiming that there was a glitch in their app. It sounds sketchy to me, but they said, we recently transitioned to a new provider of music titles sold through Target.com. A spokesperson for the brand said in a statement, unfortunately, during that transition, a number of titles from a variety of artists were not available for a short amount of time. Theories about Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy's relationship resurfaced in January when Dumois published vague info describing how the relationship ended. In a submission titled, Leaving on a Jet Plane, it said, the split of these two celebs who were in a controversial brief fling did not end well. Is it still called an Irish exit if you're British? We're hearing one half of this couple literally bounced from the relationship with no warning, leaving the other, more famous half very upset. Might explain why a recent discrepancy at everyone's favorite mass retailer happened. Dumois further elaborated on the claims, explaining that people will likely be heavily analyzing every song on Taylor's new album. But the anonymous source said, Maddie literally got on a plane and left and that was like the end of their relationship. I think Taylor was a little bit blindsided. The gossip connoisseurs behind the account continued to probe about the potentially being bad blood between the former pair, saying, was the end of their relationship inevitable? Yes, but how it ended, she was upset. They went on to imply that Taylor will vent her frustrations about the split on her upcoming album, exposing Maddie Healy for who he really is. Which I just have to say, I think he already exposed himself with all of his past controversies. But Dumois said, Will there be any songs about Maddie Healy on Tortured Poets Department? I've heard there are. I wonder if one of the lyrics is leaving on a jet plane. As Taylor's new album release date approaches, Maddie seems to be bracing for impact because he's likely aware that his bad behavior will be featured on Taylor's new album. Maddie has recently been going off on random rants at his concerts, and when the 1975 performed on February 8th, Maddie made a very unhinged speech that a lot of people think is directly related to Taylor and tortured poets. He literally says, do not come for me, and honestly, you know who you are. And he continued his crazy rant by saying, I'm as mental as I seem. I have the receipts. Don't F with me. Trust me. So honestly, Maddie is just once again showing us how crazy he is. I don't even know what else to say about him, but it's no secret that Maddie Healy has the worst reputation out of anyone that Taylor has dated. Maddie Healy's behavior caused her so much unnecessary drama in the press. A user on Reddit said, even her PR team couldn't handle the backlash she got when she was dating him. As a woman who has worked incredibly hard to establish herself as a serious artist, being linked to someone like Maddie is just overall a bad idea. Given everything we know about their brief relationship and with everything that has come out about Maddie Healy, it may be safe to assume that at least one of Taylor's new songs on the Tortured Poets Department will reference Maddie Healy. I would be kind of surprised if it didn't. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think it's true that Maddie literally just left on a jet plane? And do you think his crazy rants were directed at Taylor? Spill all the tea in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.